what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? How big would you play if you knew that you can survive any heartbreak, any breakdown, any betrayal? What would you do if the things that you were afraid of you knew were absolutely nothing? They were all opportunities for you to get stronger in your faith, stronger in your resiliency. What would you do? Who would you love? How big would you play? Where would you leap? When you guys find a fear, that fear will either create you or destroy you. I love fear, and the reason why, behind every fear is a person you want to be. Use fear or it uses you, it's that simple. What am I afraid of? I'm afraid of that? I gotta be more afraid of what I'm gonna miss out on, missing out on my mission, missing out on who I'm supposed to be, missing. In other words, if you're not getting rid of fear, then use fear. I just wanna, for a moment, I want us to be okay talking about fear because when we talk about it, we can disseminate it, we can minimize it into the nothingness that it always was. But first we have to be willing to step into it because fear is an emotion like any other emotion. Fear is an emotion like love, like compassion. Fear is an emotion, we just gave it more power. We just gave it more power. Compassion, oh, that's nice, fear, ooh. We made, we gave it a meaning. And some of you know you've heard this before, that fear is false evidence appearing real. Fear is just a story, get this, fear is a story that you've told yourself about something that might happen in the future. That you have zero evidence that it will happen, but it's causing a visceral effect in your body. Now it's time to literally biohack the impact that fear has had on you. That fear no longer becomes your fortress, fear becomes your fuel. Fear is that thing that pushes you forward. Fear is the thing that reminds you, oh, I need to go get more information. Oh, fear will keep you up at night studying. Fear will take you to a coach or a mentor. Fear will cause you to eat a slice of humble pie. Fear is not your enemy, fear is your friend. Fear reminds you that you have not arrived to the top of the mountain, that you are still climbing with the rest of us. Fear is your friend. Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. It's an intangible. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. And once you face it, you go, oh my God, man, I spent all this time running from it. It was so small. If I just faced it, my God, not only did I face it, I beat it back. Energy is never lost, transferred. That negative energy, that fear, is destroyed. It comes back in as confidence. You're like, what else am I, what else am I capable of? What else am I holding my back from that I'm capable of more? What am I running from I don't need to? What else can I overcome? You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. You run from your fears, you're not living. You're alive, but you're not thinking the freedom. You're not running the day. The day's running you. You always be the fucking servant, not the master, guys. If you find a fear, the quickest, the easiest way you can beat it is initially, right when it comes in. If you allow it to sit, it will grow root and start breaking you down, destroying the potential of the person you can be. Again, the champions, guys. It's not their potential, it's not their genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not, you know, a marathon of life with just ups. Success is formulated through failures through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion. Success does not define us, we define the success. Let me tell you something. Some of your fears come out of something someone said about you. Some of your best motivation came wrapped in sandpaper. Some of your best motivation didn't come wrapped in love and, and came with warm cookies and milk. It came wrapped in sandpaper. It came wrapped in thorns. It came wrapped in that divorce. It came wrapped in the loss of a loved one. It came wrapped in something that didn't work. Some of your best motivation that you needed, some of the best lessons that you need to learn came wrapped in sandpaper. Yes, yes? Yes, yes? Your job is to take the information, to take the lesson and to take the opportunity and use it to fuel you, not make you afraid you will have to become someone you've never been before. You want to go somewhere you've never gone? You got to do something you've never done. You got to say something you've never said.
You got to go to a place in you that you've never even been. You get to redesign. You are your Michelangelo. You are your greatest sculpture. And you get to recarve and you get to up level as much as you need. 